Live at five, it's offer review, and we have official confirmation that there's going to be a Weapon X team and a new Wolverine skin and a Wolverine rework and a Sabertooth rework. We're going to go over some of the initial details on that. Uh, also, that pretty much confirms this right here exactly. Uh, the three new mystery characters right here. Uh, Edward Jasso was looks like he's dead on the money. Silver, Samurai, Lady Deathstrike, Omega Red, a new Weapon X team. And then also in uh, the video, this was a live stream. Cerebro was on it. They, uh, they, they did some small details on Wolverine and Sabretooth. Uh, Wolverine will have more stacks of bleed on his basic and special. Wolverine special will now have a re rebound chain and always do uh, bonus damage. And then Sabretooth rework. Uh, the basic will now flip defense up into defense down, and then his special will also have the rebound chain and always have piercing damage. And a lot of people are saying, what does that mean for uh, Emma Rodders? What are you going to do? You know, if you take Sabretooth off that team, what are you going to do? Most people are plugging in Minerva, at least in war anyways, uh, in, you know, putting Minerva in that spot. Sabretooth is always kind of like the weak member on the Marauders, and so I'm guessing. So uh, a couple things I'll say about that is, yeah, probably you're gonna want to uh, start upgrading or, you know, getting your, your Brawler ISO 8, start farming Brawler ISO 8 now. Uh, I've been working on my Sabretooth and Wolverine since I got this information, and, and we'll see how it goes. Now, what is the team going to be? The general consensus is this is going to be a war offense team as far as speculation. That is speculation, however, so we don't know exactly what that is. So I'm, I'm starting to work on my Wolverine and Sabretooth now and getting that. I'm sure there's a, a millions of people out there with like seven red and six red Wolverines that are going, yes, or, or people that took Sabretooth to gear tier 15 to get into Dark Dimension 4 who felt bad. Now they're going, yes. Well, anyways, uh, Weapon X team coming probably next patch. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we got more details about this on Friday with the blog post. Let's go to offer review. And the other thing too, I want to uh, double. I want to circle back on something I said yesterday. Uh, I've a lot of people have been testing. I've been doing a lot of testing. I've been talking to people doing testing. Cloak is very good, like better than I thought yesterday. And offer review, I was like, ah, they're about as important as Maria and 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 Sharon Carter. Looks like Cloak is a step up is from our initial testing. Stay tuned. And our initial ISO 8 uh, is going to do Skirmisher. And the only T4 that I've done myself personally is the passive, but I'm sure there's more. We'll all have more information on that as we do more testing. Let's move on and talk about offer review. Uh, so this right here, RTA is wrapping up. I just went to, I just finished up my RTA. If you missed a bunch of days or you run out of time and you want to do that, this allows you to play less RTA if you're doing the top track. But I believe most people are... Uh, you know, wrapping up RTA uh, for the, the end of it. Now, we're going to be getting a new RTA uh, here shortly. Let's move on. Uh, within the Shadows Orb offer, again, I think he's pretty good. Initial testing on this guy is that he's not trash. A lot of people are telling me they're coming across him in RTA, and he's wrecking nerds. So that's the word on the stream right now. Uh, it, it, all right, this is kind of pricey, three-star unlock. Uh, do what you got to do. I bought one offer just to get him unlocked and get him started. Let's move on. Gold promotion credit offer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, this is a Kraken snack. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I'm not going to be buying this uh, for obvious reasons, I believe. But I do think that people will buy this. Uh, first of all, We've got a Mega Orb. I would value that at $5. Then we've got Within the Shadows Orb. So that is a Cloak Orb. I value that at $3. A Human Weapon Orb. I value that at $3. And then we have three Gold Orbs. I value that at $6. So we've got $11 plus another, another uh, $16, $17, let's say. So do you value Gold Promotion Credits at, you know... 35 bucks for 35 gold promotion credits. You know, are you willing to spend $150 to take a character from 
five red to six red? You're not? I'm not either. Be my guest. I, I, I have a feeling that, that people will buy this. Uh, this is not for me. Uh, I don't see the value. Let's move on. Gear tier 15 offer. So this is going to have uh, 20 superior gear right here for $34. Scopely, have you lost your mind on this pricing? Well, what is this pricing? I, 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 I don't even know what to say to this other than no thank you. Get it. You know what I think? I think this offer, I think this offer is, let me, let me show you what I think this offer is. I think this offer is trash. We got to put it in the trash can. It's trash. Oh my God. Wow. That is horrible. Let's move on. Oh, by the way, uh, you can buy these pieces inside the shang -Chi event tab, you know, with the, the fire ants, essence currency, they do pop up in there. And so I've been, uh, you know, picking the, uh, the 15s and the 14s up. No 13s in there, but there's 15s and 14s in there. Definitely, uh, I, can si I would consider doing that for sure. Exclusive premium orb offer. This is a proper microtransaction. $1 for a premium orb is reasonable pricing. I'm not in, I don't need any premium orbs, but if I was in the market for premium orbs, I would be buying this. But right now it seems like I've got, I just, there's just nothing, anything in there I really need. Like I was buying them when I needed it before I got Kestrel to seven. You know, I was like looking for Kestrel, things like that. But right now, uh, but this is fine. If you want to buy this, I think this is a great, this is probably the best offer we've seen so far in this offer review. Let's move on. Resource offer. We're going to table this. I'm going to say that buying the, the medallion for the 10 rings event, the, 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 the medallion for the Shang-Chi movie is a better value than this. So keep this price in mind of $5 for 4,200 war store. If you need war store currency, currently I'm flooded on it myself. So I don't need any of those extraordinary energy bundle. Again, keep this in price in mind because we're going to talk about 1000 energy. 1000 energy right now is also when you spend that 1000 energy, you're going to be getting 1000 fire essence, which is very helpful for getting the milestones. The milestones has amazing rewards blitz a lot or buy a lot of this type of a currency to you know to get this going but in addition to that there's some other value here you got a training orb right here that's worth about a buck and a half and then we've got a i don't know if that's a legacy one or two it doesn't really matter they're not worth a lot 25 cents 30 cents uh so if you're pushing for level 85 or if you want to not blitz as much and you want to advance your roster towards level 85 fine i typically only value this at five dollars but right now we have two events Two things that are happening right now that makes that more attractive than normally. Let's move on, but but keep this price in mind because there's going to be some trash offers that are not good compared to this. I'm not going to buy this myself, but let's move on. Gold medallion offer. So um, this is the worst of the medallions in my opinion. You get 36 15s for twenty dollars, which are the random ones. And I guess if you're trying to push for level eighty five. Uh, push for it to get into dd4 to get your 16 characters ready maybe but the problem i have with this is it's random this is still a better price than uh the ones that they have sometimes uh which is going to be down below so this is better than other offers but it's still not great but i believe this is the worst of the three medallions that are in here let's move down uh redwood medallion offer five dollars and you will get up to thirty thousand more credits i do believe it gives more than 4200 war credits so the offer up there, I would buy this before the offer up there because there's also, uh, you know, when you get seven medallions, you get the costume, but there's something else that I, I don't know if we know yet when you do all 10, I, I believe there's something when you do all 10, but you're gonna have to buy, you know, these three to get to all 10. So uh, you got, someone said that they got between seven and seven and 12,000 out of this offer. Okay, it's still more than 4,200. I believe this is a better value than the offer for $5 for 4,200 credits. Let's move on. Dumpster Fire Essence. This is garbage. It's 10 extra shards when you get all 10. Okay, so I, I don't know if that's true, but I'm hearing from chat that when you get all 10 medallions, you get 10 shang -Chi shards. Well, that's not that fantastic. Okay. Anyways, Daily Fire Essence Offer. This is not good. $10. For 850 literally up there you could spend ten dollars and get 1000 energy which will also give you 1000 fire essence and by spending the energy you get gold 
materials, training materials, character shards, all that stuff. Not 10 shards. 10 medallions give extra shards. We don't know how many yet. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Okay, we don't know how many you get if you get the 10 shards. Nobody, we don't know that. We're waiting for that information. So getting all 10 medallions, we don't know how many Shang-Chi shards. They said they were going to give shards, but we don't know how many yet. Okay, thank you for clarifying it. All right, let's move on. Anyways, this offers trash. Also, this offers trash. I value six uh, the six red star orbs at a buck and a half a piece. So that's like nine and a half dollars. Not great. Not even close to 25 US dollars. Let's move on. Ooh, samurai for a higher offer. You know, do what you got to do on this. I'm not going to recommend this offer. 50 character shards for 30 bucks. Here's the thing. Defense war teams are temporary at best. They, they will, this, this, uh, weapon X team could be a hard counter to this. Who knows? I, I just like, think about all defensive war teams that we've gotten in the past. You don't get to play them, and then eventually there's a counter, and then what are they? They're not that great. So this is definitely nuanced, uh, you know, for a very specific player that is looking for defensive war teams. There are many other. I do find her useful. I've been using her in the gamma raids, but anyways, uh, let's move on. Uh, it's just it's a nuanced character. I don't think this has universal appeal. Uh, this offer and it's pricey. Fifty character shards for thirty bucks. All right, Red Star Ultimate Pack is 14 red stars for a buck and a half piece, not even close to 50 US dollars, nope. All right, so this is a gold offer. This is an average gold offer. My boomer valuation is this, $2 a piece at best, so that's worth about six bucks. And then 200K gold, maybe that's worth two bucks, so that's like $8 valuation. I have a feeling they're gonna sell these. Uh, I'm not gonna buy it, but this is something I do think that people will pick up. This is the standard new character offer. Uh, ability orbs, T3s, I value 100 ability orbs, T3 ability orbs at a dollar a piece. No, thank you. Not a purchaser and don't recommend buying purple gear at this time. Let's move on. Training materials. I used to value these at $2 and I value them at a buck and a half a piece. So three training material orbs at a buck and a half is four and a half dollars. Maybe that's worth another two bucks, maybe six and a half dollars value right there. You know what? If you need training materials, you know, there's awesome, you can definitely get some out of the Shang-Chi event. You can also get them out of the arena store. Uh, there's other ways of getting training materials. Plus now there is that monthly skill military event that gives training materials. So they, it's just that they're more available than they once were, let's say six months ago. Let's move on. Uh, garbage, absolute garbage. Also more garbage. I, I mean, we've had offers even in the last couple of weeks where you, for $1, you got hundreds of these for $1, let alone $10 for 75. This offer is not great. Uh, in the past, we used to like the 100 for 10 bucks. If you're gonna buy this, I would suggest or expect at least to get 100 of these rather than 75, not a great value. Let's move on. Uh, ISO-8 energy offer, again, I think they're gonna sell a ton of these because this 1000 uh, green ISO right here, green campaign energy will give the fire essence. It'll help your account get to level 85 and that's great. All right, I'm not going to buy it, but I think if you are going to be, if you're in the, if you need a uh, green ISO and you need this energy, this uh, it's a better time now than, than normally uh, because of those two bonuses, the fire essence and uh, helping your account get to level 85. All right, let's move on. ISO 8 energy calendar. So I like this better than the other one right here. This is a thousand energy for $15. This is 910 energy. For ten dollars, I'm gonna purchase this. Uh, I, I just like these. I like this offer. Plus, I just have a ton of uh, green ISO that I'm trying to upgrade. Uh, there's a bunch of characters I'm trying to upgrade right now, and I I think that given how they made the changes uh, two patches ago, where they doubled the amount of um, green inner, the ISOs and ions and orb fragments, it's just a better all around. I'm using Amazon coins. Amazon Coins, I'm sponsored by Amazon Coins. There's a link in the description, but basically Amazon Coins allows you to save up to 20% on your favorite in-game packs. That saves me about $100 a month myself personally. There's instructions on how to set that up in the, the link in the top of the description. And thank you for everybody that uses that. It does help support this channel. Amazon's been great supporter. Uh, silver promotion credits. Get 10 silver promotion credits for $3. They've sold 50 for $3 in the past. So this is a very normal offer. Nothing special about this. I guess if you have 140 and the character you're looking for is in the store, 
you know, I, I've definitely bought this uh, before when there was that situation. Trash, trash. All right, again, I think the the ten dollar offer up there for one thousand energy is better than this. Let's move on. Uh, special orb draft, gold orb of value at two dollars. Training orbs of value at a buck and a half a piece, so that's worth three bucks. Premium orbs a buck a piece, so that's worth three dollars. I'm not going to be buying this because I don't want to get a gold orb for three dollars. Garbage, trash. Thirty dollars for maybe that's worth twelve bucks, and maybe that's worth another four dollars. Maybe there's sixteen dollars value there. Not even close to thirty bucks. Trash. And we're not going to talk about that or that. And actually, this is don't buy this because there there is an offer up there for ten dollars, which has six thousand and twenty five. So this is a much worse offer than that. Uh, you know, for the the cloak offer. Uh, pack of shame. I, I believe if you're blitzing a lot like I am right now because of the Shang-Chi event, you have to do four or five rotations a day if you want to finish all the milestones if you have a complete roster. I mean, there's a lot of stipulations there. But you got to blitz a lot. And blitzing is the strategy to finish all the milestones in the event. We're about, we're not halfway through, but we're five, six days in. Or maybe a third of the way through. Anyways, I uh, won't need to buy this if you're, you know, it's better to just refresh the blitz store for this uh, war currency rather than buy this if you're blitzing enough. All right, the rest of everything down here is trash. Let's scroll down to the bottom, and um, we'll talk about this. Silver medallion offer. So this will have 30 Shang-Chi character shards, and then there's going to be uh, two on the two columns on it. Each column gives either five or ten Colleen or Misty shards. So you could get up to 20 Misty or Colleen's, or you could get 10 of... Uh, of, of one or the other, or you can get split numbers of them. Anyways, uh, so that's how that orb works right there. A big fan of this. A lot of people have been buying this. If you remember when Shang-Chi was initially offered, you would have to spend 800 cores to get 10 shards. So this is a better deal. And plus, this will help you in the, uh, the event. We, uh, we don't know. I know you can get seven of the medallions basically by logging in and completing the milestones. And then three medallions are here in the store. But uh, right now, we don't know what the rewards are for doing all 10. Uh, we'll find out here. All right. I think that'll do it here. Sometimes there's a 175 that's not here. Okay. We're going to toggle, toggle over to uh, the free-to-play account. And uh, we're going to skip over all the duplicate offers and see. Not a fan. I think that's okay. I don't like that. I do like that. I don't like that. I do like that. I think that's trash. Oh, congratulations to everybody that unlocked jubilee yesterday uh jubilee requires five members of the pim tech at five stars this orb has all five so this orb also has uh yellow jacket and ant-man and wasp in there so the problem i have with this orb is that you could spend 20 dollars and get 30 character shards of the one that you don't need ghost is the best character on the team by far i love ghost other four not so much all right trash yeah I, I, this is only a certain type of player buys this uh, Kraken Alliance War Defensive Guilds. All right. All right, there you go. All right, so if you just unlock Jubilee and you have Beast unlocked, if you have Jubilee and Beast and you don't have Bishop unlocked, I would recommend this to get the team. The team works with those three characters. Kitty and Iceman, yes, make the team better, but really the three of them together is a functional trio made up of Bishop, jubilee and beast so that's my suggestion on that if you if the, if you have jubilee and beast but you don't have you don't have bishop there you go it is pricey 50 character shards for 30 dollars uh bishop is available in the war store and you can get him there that's kind of a hard way of getting characters frankly war store is a slow grind let's move on all right trash there you go there you go there's your way of buying beast again super expensive i believe uh you know, that's, there's ways of getting him without doing that, but uh, there you go. Uh, definitely the three most important members of the Astonishing X-Men, and they're an excellent raid team, is going to be Beast, Bishop, and Jubilee. Kitty and Iceman are great also. They definitely make the team better, but those three can function as a trio for sure. Let's move on. Uh, that's okay. I like that better. That's okay. I think that's trash. I think that's trash. I think that's kind of trash. The other one... For ten dollars, has a thousand energies better than this one right here. Nope, definitely nope. All right, and that'll do it. All right, are you excited about Wolverine and Sabretooth getting some reworks? Uh, we only got partial details on those reworks. I'm sure we're going to be getting more information. It's just kind of like a teaser. 
Uh, and we'll see what they're going to be for. Are they going to be a Heroes for Hire counter? Are they going to be a raid team? We will see. My guess is they're going to be a war offense team. Not sure if they're going to be for Heroes for Hire or not. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Go crazy, but sucker, but sucker.